first came up to uni, because there's that myth that you gain £10 in your first year of uni. The average student gains £10 in your first year of uni. It's all lies. I didn't gain £10 in my first year of uni. I fucking lost 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've just moved in with my best friend. We've got this nice little flat with just the two of us. But the problem with being two of us is that if something goes wrong, there's a 50% chance that it's my fault. <laughs> Last year there was eight of us, that's fine, that's stats I can work with. Two of us, I'm convinced we're going to get robbed, or there's going to be a fire, or just something is going to go wrong. And so I've started getting really paranoid, and I just go around and I will check everything, and it drives my flat mate crazy, because so I will just go round and round and round, I'll check everything in multiples of five, which like yeah. I get is a well weird thing to do, because I normally prefer even numbers. <laughs> um, and I mean, I've never gone and being like formally diagnosed with OCD, but I do feel like I should check. <laughs> like 98.6% like sure. <laughs> Fuck, I wish that was a round number. <laughs> like it's gotten to the point where I've kind of started to lose weight from it, but not even in the like traditional anxiety sense. I've just become too scared to turn my oven on. <laughs> um, so I went down to Leicester a couple of weeks ago, um, just thought I'd have a nice little weekend away at the comedy festival, just go by myself, it'd be nice. But I went on Valentine's weekend, and so I ended up getting the train by myself when everyone's there, all loved up and all coupley. And just by myself, I thought, right, I've got nothing to lose. I will ask every single person who goes to sit next to me if they want to be my Valentine. <laughs> and I was very successful. Uh, having two seats to myself for the entire three hour journey. <laughs>